Hi everybody, we're here right now with Sharon Day and she is the co-chair of the Republican National Committee. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yes ma'am. Okay, so we're here at the state convention. We're right before the primaries. What are your main areas of focus that you're trying to get out of uh, this convention for the people? Um, well, the main interest and the, and the main push to try to help with from the committee is to make sure that the the committee is ready to make sure that when we have a candidate, no matter who the candidate is, that we're ready with the tools, the finances, the money in place to make sure that we elect um, the next president of the United States as a proud Republican and we send Barack Obama back home to Chicago. So what do you think are the main key interests in uh, the Republican Party being able to get our candidate elected into office? Well, I think all our candidates are talking about real solutions for the problems that face America. And instead of um, the president who continues to talk and, and uh, empty promises to our country, I think the four candidates we have know that we have serious problems in America and know that we need serious solutions. So when you listen to the four candidates out there, when they um, talk to America's citizens, they're talking about real solutions to real problems that we have in America. And I think that's that's what our candidates are doing and that's what I think as you see them travel around and whether it be in the debate or uh, whether right here in uh, California and other states, they're, they're talking about the real issues. Is there any crucial things that the candidates need to be doing or aren't doing that uh, need to be changed so that they can get elected to become more viable in the campaign? No, I think they're doing the right things. You know, every candidate has to run his own campaign to suit his needs and, and the, 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 his own direction that he wants to take um, the country if elected. And I think we're seeing that with our candidates. We're seeing them again talk about the real issues, talk about the real solutions, their solutions um, for the country. And so, no, they're, they're doing what they need to do as candidates. And, and eventually we will have a, uh, a candidate uh, that's going to be selected out of these primaries. And I think that we'll see that that candidate will um, be far superior to what we have in the White House today and we'll, we'll do a, a, a great job for us as our candidate. What are the main issues that you face while you're doing your job as a committee woman? Um, more time in the day. <laughs> more time in the day. Uh, but do you, you come to the, uh, to the White House on a regular basis or, or you, you spend time with Congress? No? I, I don't get invited to the White House a lot, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't imagine you're the number one fan for, the, for uh, you know, Barack what's going Obama? on there. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I keep missing my invitations, I guess. I don't know what's happening, but no, I don't get... Uh, I've not uh, gotten many invitations to the so White House. So you don't House. have to go spend time anyway? Not at no, the White House, no. no. Okay. But what I do is proudly spend time with, again, our candidates, with our um, state parties around um, that we have around the country, um, you know, in all our different states. And I spend a lot of time with our congressional um, members and our Republican, proud Republican senator, uh, Senate, uh, senators around in that's you know, that's what I do, but no, not in the White House much, not as long as this What, about, what about the balance between the Tea Party and the Republican Party? Is there a lot of hand in hand that goes with that? Oh, I think the Tea Party and the, I think the Tea Party par um, are friends of the Tea Party and I think the Republicans, they're on the same message. We understand that again, that our country is in a serious situation and we also understand that their issues are, issues are the same issues. You know, the Tea Party is very vibrant and a very power. you know, they just have a lot of energy and a lot of passion. And, and with the Republican Party, they were a great team in the 2010 elections. And we look to, to do the same thing in 2012 and are doing the same thing already. We've had numerous meetings at the RNC um, with our Tea Party friends um, about how we can together um, get our proud message out as, as again on our conservative values, on our freedoms, our less taxes and, and more individual rights, less government and intrusion into our personal lives. And so our, our uh, statements and our beliefs are the same. So we work together hand in hand, not separately when uh, I was just in, excuse me, in Arizona and actually went to a Tea Party event while we were there. Herman Cain was there and so uh, we're, uh, we're more similar than dissimilar. You know, I really like your optimism, but it seems to me like there's a large base that have some serious issues that weigh on their heart from uh, Agenda 21, where the progressives are trying to take over our country and, and hand it and give it away. Uh, we got problems with our water rights issues. We got problems with uh, the government uh, imposing itself into everything we do in our life, over regulation, and it just seems like in reality there's a small group of people that are very optimistic, but the 
mass are all against this. Is, what do you, do you think that's true? No, I, I think if you look at a party, again, the Republican Party, they're for less government. If you look at the Democrat Party, they think that government's the answer and the solution. So I think no time ever in our history, in our, in our country's proud history, has there been a better and stronger true difference of our two parties. Um, you've got one party, the Democrat Party, again, that thinks that um, government is the answer to, to all things. You've got a Republican Party that is for, again, more freedoms and more personal. We've got uh, rights. We have a Democrat Party that wants to strangle our small businesses with over-regulation. You've got a Republican Party that fights back. You've got a Democrat Party that, uh, as I mentioned earlier this evening, that hasn't had a budget in 1,031 days. You've got a Republican-led Congress. Um, House of Representatives that, in fact, have not only passed their budgets on a timely basis, that they've also produced bills and passed bills that they've sent to the Senate that would help the economy, would help the you know, would lessen the regulations on our uh, small business owners and our individual rights and our freedoms. And when you look at that, one party very clearly lays out the message of what is important, again, in less governance in our personal lives. One very much thinks that that's the answer to our country's problems. So I think clearly, in no other time that I know in, in my lifetime, has there been a more clear line of definition of one party that wants to over-regulate, that wants to, again, tell you um, what your health care is, how your health care will be handled, um, even to the point of uh, now delving into religious freedoms and one party on the other side saying that no wait a minute this is not what our founding fathers built um, not what we believed in what is a party that we stand for so you have one party that is fighting against this over regulation this over intrusion and you've got one party that's trying to push its way into everyone's individual lives so you think it's a really good thing that there's a total difference between republican and democrat and that we should moderate things Oh, I, I, I don't know. I think there's some things that you can compromise on, but I don't think values and I don't think issues and I don't think some of the things that we are standing very firmly on as a, as a conservative party, as a proud conservative party, there are some things that you can compromise on and there are some things that you can't. And I think our values and, and again, the less government intrusion is something we feel very proudly and very strongly about. And I don't think you compromise on that. I think you compromise on the issues that help America. But over-regulating our business, small businesses, is not one that's going to help America. Stopping the key, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the pipe from being built is not one of them. Making us more um, involved in our energy uh, needs with the Middle East is not one of them. When we could take care of it ourselves in our own country that we won't. When you argue and don't let a state that wants to drill off its own shore, when you don't allow them to do that and you step on states' rights versus federal, federal rights, we don't have that obligation. We were a country that was built on states' rights. And so I think those are the issues that separate. So I do think there is a complete definition, very strongly, like no other time, again, of the Democrat Party and the Republican Party and what we stand for. And while there are compromises, um, we're not going to compromise on our values as a party. And we're not going to let them continue to force their uh, big federal government ideas on our party. So can you give a message real quick to what you think is the most important thing that the grassroots organizations uh, be involved in right now? Well, I think the grassroots operations, what they can do is, is again, they can be building their operations. Um, every state party around the country, what we should be doing is we should be making sure that our victory officers, our actions, we have our volunteers in place because we don't have to wait till we have a candidate to do that. We should be doing it right now. We should be building our operations that are going to protect our voting in integrity at our polling locations. We can be doing our cult voter IDs out there to call our carters, to excuse me, call our voters to make sure that what their passion is. So we need to be building our ground game. And once we have a candidate, it doesn't matter. Again, we will put that candidate in that place. So it sounds I, like you're saying it's the initial responsibility, <clears throat> excuse me, inherent responsibility of the central committees to be able to understand the dynamics in their area, uh, assembly district, a senate district right. that they're responsible for, congressional district, and then after they've done all their work and everything, that maybe then they bring in candidates or they find the right person for the job. Well, I, th I, I think they go hand in hand. I don't think they're two separate entities. I don't think they're two. They're not separate necessarily the uh, con uh, congressional congressional candidate needs to come in and do all the groundwork by themselves? No, we. I think as a committee, as an, as an activist, you have a responsibility to make sure that 
um, that your region, your area, your district, your precinct is ready for the candidate and to only strengthen that candidate to be that entity that um, carries our candidates across the finish line. And then they use that dynamic to work with the grassroots uh, organizations that are in their county on how they can attribute to work together, right? They work together, absolutely. It is, it's a team effort that goes from the state party to the, from the national party actually, from the national party to the state party to down to the, the um, county party, but down to the precinct message door to door. And you know, again, what you do as a grassroots activist, you go door to door, house to house, corner to corner, you don't stop and, and you make sure that that is covered if you do that. We do that ground game. Um, we win every time. Is there any message you would like to give to the viewers right now? Um, I would just tell you be ready, help us support again as the Republican, our private Republican Party, whether you're a Tea Party activist, whether you're a Republican, whether you're um, again, even on the other side, a Democrat, if you're a Democrat, um, a member of that part of the Democrat Party, we uh, look for you to help us save America together, make sure that we do the right things for America and that we get our federal government out of our personal lives that we make sure that we're strong and ready to save this America for the next generation. And is there a, a website where people can go to get involved in or some kind of contact way to um, get involved? You can with reach you? us at uh, uh, GOP.com. That's the best and way to get so it? Absolutely best place to find out the, the answers to our, our party and solutions to the difficulties that we're facing in America and together we will save America and it'll be one elected individual as, at a time and uh, we look forward to sending uh, a Barack Obama back to Chicago in a Boeing 787 built for Charleston, Iowa, South Carolina. <laughs> well thank you so much Ms. Sharon, I thank appreciate you. having your time on here. Thank you.